hello and good morning and most of all, happy birthday. We're in the mood to grant wishes today. We're gonna stay in Should Florida. Should we stay? Yeah! Okay. Pulling like another birthday wish come true. I wish for that for my birthday. That's what I want for my birthday. I would love to have like a swimming pool of some kind. Oh, you go to the store? Oh, yes. Yes. Fireworks oh. over the beach. I don't think we've even mentioned how long my birthday wish is to stay here, but guys, we're gonna be chilling here on this pad in Florida in this place for the next week. Mom has been off getting some amazingly fun snacks, groceries to tide us over for the next week. Mom, show us what we've got. Well, you guys, we're gonna be here for a week and we don't wanna eat out for every single meal. We have this amazing yard, so we're like, let's buy some meals yes, that let's we can eat, eat here, here at the house. hang together, play yes. in the backyard. This is the kitchen. Whoa, you have this to figure is kind out of spacey. Like. What do I do? Where are you going I right know. now? This is the pantry. <laughs> oh, oh, no way. And I bought no all of this. Mindy, okay, so full disclosure, I haven't seen this stuff yet. He has not seen this. Holy yet. crap. Indeed. Well, we have a lot of great things on tap. Rexy helped me and he grabbed everything. This is snack center. We've got chips, snacks, yes, treats. we have everything to have pasta bar, burgers, sandwiches for lunch, chips for days, this treats for days. This is gonna be incredible. Cereal for breakfast, pop tars, all those oh my gosh. yummy I do things. like that like slide out. That's really cool. Okay, what yeah. else we got, what else we okay, got? Okay, so I'm here into the fridge. Wait, okay. Here Wait, is what? the fridge. I don't even know where to walk because I don't know where stuff is. I know, okay, and I this seems like a ton of food, but you guys, we have a big family. And we, we like to eat. To feed everyone. <laughs> Got yummy dips, fruit, all the things for breakfast. Oh, drinks. kids love Tampico. We got some Gatorades. I've gotten a fun dessert for your birthday. Key lime pie? Key well, lime pie wait, in the did Florida. You wish for I wish for key lime pie. I knew you would. Boosh. We got some burgers that we're gonna grill up. I think it'd be fun to grill burgers on the 4th of July. Just yeah, out there by the so pool, fun. that'd be so cool. All the cheeses and everything. I brought eggs and pancake mix to do a fun warm breakfast for everyone. Really, even a fun breakfast. So mom, you're gonna be like doing some fun cooking, hanging out in the kitchen a little. I like that, it's kind of fun. That was hard to open. Oh, okay. Uh, and then I got meatballs for our pasta night. We got some garlic bread. This is for breakfast. Oh, we're having a pasta night. This is gonna be so fun. I know you fun. guys, that's not all though. We have a really cool drink cover. Right Wait, where's here. this? Guys, I'm learning about this house as you're learning I know, about look. this <gasps> What? You slide slogan. out from the island? <laughs> look what we found, Dr. Pepper, dark berry, zero. What? Yeah. By the way, as I zoomed in on the Dr. Pepper, I couldn't help but notice your amazing shirt. Disney West shirt, um, I love it. Yes, I didn't have anything to wear off the boat today, so pick this yes. up and I absolutely love it. But that's not all. I got a fun shirt too, Disney Wish, and then show them Can the I back. Show them yeah, the back because that's what's so cool. You guys, this is the Disney Wish ship. It's so awesome. You got the Disney Wish right there. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's cool. Super it's good on you. Plus, it gave us a shirt to wear when we got off the boat. Is that pretty much the groceries? Because that's a lot. I'm not that's saying. I'm just much. like, is there anything more? I tell you that I found another pantry over here. You found us. What in the? But this is just oh. like all the bread. And okay, stuff. yeah, bread. Wow, that's a lot of bread. But you know and what? Tell Mindy, like, if we make sandwiches for all of us in an afternoon, a loaf is gone in yes, one and lunch. And these are thicker slices. This is what we call Turk's toast. Turk's bread, guys. Turk's toast. If you know what that is, and you know why we call it that, hit the like button right now because that one is a kind of an inside thing. We thought it was only available in one place, and now we see it all the time. But we love it, and it gives us fond memories. But we we try and reserve it for vacations. Vacation. What an incredible birthday filled with wishes coming true. This birthday has been absolutely magical. The kids are swimming in the pool. We are in one of the most beautiful locations in the world. We oh, absolutely love it here in Florida. Can't believe the number of birthday wishes that have been granted for me today. We were able to stay a little bit longer. We were able to find a rental car. The rain stopped. It's been gorgeous. The kids have been playing in the pool. Mom's been moving stuff into the drawers. I actually was able to take a nap since I didn't sleep yes, while we were on the cruise, which was fantastic. Nice a nice little birthday nap. And here we are now settling already into the evening part of the day. But I have to say, Florida is just not the same vibe without Jared and Britt. Like there's just nobody more Florida than Jared and Britt. So if I did have any remaining birthday wishes, I do wish Ooh. that we could hang out with them. That would be a really that would cool, be cool birthday wish cup. Wait, is that? Did, did you, you hear that? that? What? That's weird. I'm not expecting anybody. Are you expecting anybody? No. Okay, well, let's. I don't see anybody out there. Do you? <gasps> what? No, no. Surprise! What? You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> oh my gosh! This is insane! <laughs> Wishes are literally coming true. You guys, Woo! come in, come in, come in. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? This place. Heck yeah. Guys, dude, Thank happy you. birthday, oh man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and the hat and everything, bro. I don't think I can. 
<laughs> hey, Barbie's coming out. Hey, well, you got your Barbie, so. Definitely got Guys, holy cow. What are you doing in Florida? You yeah. just celebrate your birthday, baby. <laughs> To get into a swimming suit as you can see the sun has set and it has set quickly it's but this pool is calling my name the weather is great until deep into the night so this has been a birthday wish come true in every regard jared and Britt getting in their suits ready to jump in with that us that would be so fun and hang out i can't think of anything i could possibly want more for this birthday and to be with you guys the family watching hazy do flips into the pool <laughs> if i had one last birthday wish if i could rub any more magic energy out of that magic lamp that magic i would love to be able to spend a birthday and it's very cheesy guys but with my mom i know yeah. You get older, you get up there in the years, and you just really love and appreciate those times you get together with your parents, and you realize that time is just fleeting and it's so precious. And so, if I could, I would love to be able to spend a bit of my birthday with my mom. But can't have all of our wishes come true. I don't know that there's enough magic pixie dust left. I do think that the pizza might be here. And I do love a birthday pizza, Mindy. Yeah, I absolutely love pizza. I mean, there's nothing that feels better. Nothing better than a birthday than pizza. pizza. Is that the pizza, Jared and Britt? Do we have the pizza? Oh, yeah, pizza's here. Yeah, the pizza's, pizza's here. here. Guys, all my birthday wishes coming true. Pizza? Wait, pizza! Whoa! Wishes, wishes are being granted true. left Is and right. Great? Spending my birthday Wait. with my mom was my last and final birthday wish, Let's and it just it. came true. I'm so happy to Birthday be wishes here. do come true. Yes, they do. <laughs> Say supposed to bring a gift. No, it's pizza. <laughs> Where's the pizza? I'm hungry. Okay. I love you. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy, happy day. Happy, 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 happy. I cannot believe how beautiful it is. Oh. I guy will be escorting you to your room. Your quarters this evening. Rondi, in the east wing, please. I might buy the gym for a yeah, reason. Sorry, is that's that a subtle hint, mom. <laughs> <laughs> that's mom's first thing she's supposed to do. Jump on bed. Isn't that the opposite of what moms tell? My mom's first thing is always to jump on the bed. I love it. Jared found his bedroom. So Jared, no, this is uh, called a weight set. This is a gymnasium, not a gymnasium. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
staying off of the Disney wish. And then we wished that we could stay in Florida a little longer. So we ended up extending his stay in Florida. Then we wished that we could find a car and a house to make that possible. Oh we were able to find gosh. a car and this beautiful house. And then we were like, well, we're in Florida. It's not the same without Jared and Britt. So we wish that they could hang out with us. Here they are. And then I was like, man, if there's any wish juice left, it'd be kind of cool if I could hang out with my mom on my birthday. Yes! Boom. Yes, yes. We've got Mona <laughs> Joe in the house. And then my last and final wish is to be able to talk to Maddie in the Dominican Republic. And here we are. Yay! Wish granted! Yay! Oh my gosh. <laughs> this has been the perfect birthday. Every wish coming true. Best birthday ever. Is that the theme of the vlog? Yeah, it is. <laughs> We have feasted upon the delightful pizza dinner and uh, it was so good. I feel kind of embarrassed to say there is not much left. That was, yeah. that was supposed to be leftovers Don't for the week. Don't be embarrassed, I am proud. That was gone. Yeah. That was some good That's birthday That's how you pizza. know that you have invited the right people. Pizza people are my people. Jared and Brittany enlightened me on a fan favorite here in Florida, but not only just in Florida, this is dad's favorite. Guys, one of my favorites, and if I can be honest, I got it from my dad, who loved key lime pie with all his heart, and I believe we had it in the Florida Keys in Key West. In Key West. And <laughs> lived on in infamy <laughs> after that. So it has been ingrained in our souls as part of Bingham life is key lime pie. Key lime pie. And we found the most beautiful pink candles just for you. It looks sparkly almost. I, I love it. And and we found these in a drawer inside this house. They had candles here? Yes, they did. But there's four and four for 44. Oh, so I'm eight. Yeah. <laughs> it's great to be, it is pretty great, guys. I say we do some key lime pie, have some dessert, and then I hear there might be some gifts involved. Ooh. Some dark. Should we get into some gift opening? Yeah. I haven't had enough wishes come true today. All right, can we do the honors? Spit on their pie. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> These I love. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys. <laughs> well, I haven't pooped in a week. Hey, poo humor and crew is on board. <laughs> You're ready for bed. We have had so much fun just laughing the night away. Every single one of my birthday wishes has come true, which is pretty amazing considering the number of wishes that I had. But if you haven't put it together, you guys, this has been a plan that has been set in motion for quite some time now. So, you may have been wondering why we had six suitcases in the back of our van as we were heading out for a two day cruise. Seemed a little excessive, but that's because we knew we were gonna be hanging for a week here in Florida. Yeah. Mama Joe in the house, Jared and Britt in the house. We are in sunny Fort Lauderdale for the next week, partying it up. And that is my real birthday wish come true. When we had this trip planned to do the Disney wish, we looked at the calendar and said, hey, it's over my birthday, it's over 4th of July. What could be better than spending time with family in one of the awesome. most beautiful places on earth? Nothing better. Everybody else is out of town. <laughs> Thank you guys for being my seventh option and it came through. So. We love you so much. Thank you for hanging out with us this entire week. And if you, uh... <laughs> because we have so much fun coming up the next oh, guys. seven days. Uh, it's just starting. Vacation number two is getting underway Woo! starting today. So come back, you guys. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Hello and good morning, everyone. We are so excited that you're here with us. Kids are all so excited. They are so happy to be outside in the sun playing at this amazing pool. If you guys missed it or you didn't see yesterday's video, we decided to grant some birthday wishes for Brandon. It was his 40, well, okay, his 29th birthday for a couple years. We decided to grant some wishes, make all of his dreams come true. He wanted to stay in Florida a little longer, check. We were able to find a car, check. We were able to find a beautiful house with an amazing pool, check, check. And um, we thought, oh my gosh, it'd be so fun if Jared and Brittany could hang out with us, check. Oh, Mona Joe, that would make all of his wishes come true, check. Last and 
finally he got to talk to Maddie on his birthday. So we made tons of dreams and wishes come true for him. But today we are making all of these kids' wishes come true. They are going to hang out in this pool all afternoon. Uh, right now, Rye Guy is swimming across the bottom. Scares me every single time. We are ready for some fun in the sun. We're gonna hang out, enjoy this day, make a fun dinner here at this beautiful house. Have a spectacular afternoon in the sun. Kids are in the pool right now showing us, hey mom, hey mom, hey Mana, look at this, hey Mana, look at this, hey mom, look at this. Oh, oh belly flop. <laughs> but I will tell you, one thing I have set up right here before you go outside is the sunscreen station. The sun in Florida is just super strong. I have brought all different kinds. We have reef safe, so if we go to the ocean, we have active one, we have all different levels. We have 30, 50, 15. I should have used this yesterday on Hazy because she burned her scalp. I felt so bad. I had it and I forgot to use it. These ones I typically use for Brandon and I. They're my favorite. Got the face sunscreens all sitting here for anyone that comes over. This is the sunscreen station, towels, everything they need. I think we have all the makings of having the perfect day in the sun. Oh, I just realized we have a bunch of floaties. I'm gonna go grab those. Yes! Pool noodles! Mom got pool noodles! <laughs> you guys said you wanted pasta for dinner? There's noodles! <laughs> Some of you guys may notice you're like where is Brandon why is he not here with your family one thing I have to tell you when we do like trips they're kind of more work for Brandon if you will because we are a next day turnaround vlog a lot of people actually aren't they're usually about five days behind we've always tried to stay relevant in the way that we want whatever happens today to go out tomorrow Brandon is sometimes cursed with the task of creating a vlog the same day that all the fun and action is happening sometimes that means that he has to edit until 3 in the morning today that's what happened Brandon was up till 4 a.m. this morning Morning. editing to get the vlog out for you so we could make it to church come have some fun he is catching up on some much needed rest he actually averaged three and a half hours every single night on the cruise so he's just catching up really quickly he's trying to take a little nap and he's gonna come out here and join us Jared and Britt are probably gonna come over tonight we're gonna have some fun dinner hang out by this amazing pool and have an awesome afternoon Freaking vibe, you guys. Look at everybody chilling. The kids have started the party and the fun without me there in the pool, but I'm not letting it last long without me getting in. I gotta get in this thing, you guys. This pool is incredible. You guys having fun out here? Oh, yeah! Alright guys, anytime you bring Mana Joe, the fun is taken up a level. In this case, quite literally, Mana Joe upstairs throwing passes to us as we jump out from below off the waterfall into the pool. Only Mana knows how to do this. This was my childhood. This is what I grew up doing. Just my mom inventing crazy games, me and my brothers trying them out. Sorry, I'm eating a caramel. We're in full fun mode over here. I don't got to realize she's on a chair and then Mindy was like, you're making me nervous. What does it mean when the mom is telling the grandma safety first? That means you're dealing with Mana Joe. <laughs> Watch 
watching Hazy just get up and out and jump off this ledge over and over and over. Tells me we made the right decision in keeping the jumping ledges. That's all she wants to do. And we're just jumping off this one. I have a feeling we're getting the most out of that pool. All right, Kubito, are you ready to send it? Two, one, go! You get it? Woo! You're the water taxi for hex. I love you, dude. Then another climb up and ready to go again. Yeah! We're just doing an amazingly chill Sunday here at the house. Started off the day, went to church with Jared, my mom, Brittany. It was so awesome. What a great way to start the day. Then we came back here, taking it easy, having a lunch, and then now we're just gonna spend the day kind of just relaxing, I guess, before the big 4th of July tomorrow. Cool side. I do think it'd be a great opportunity to walk you guys through this house, give you a quick and dirty little house tour. When I say dirty, I do mean we have been here for a full day, so it's not gonna be pristine, but we'll show you what this place has. Pretty spectacular, some of the pretty awesome. amenities. And without a doubt, we got it for this epic backyard to be able to just play out here, hang out, and have enough space for everyone. We can have enough space for everyone. The thing that's been calling my name is this little, I don't know what you call that, like a little clamshell. I was just laying in that posting a bunch of stories. I was like, the turned dream. to Jared and I said, I could live here. It's an absolute dream. That thing provides a little bit of shade. We are in Florida in July, and so it is a sweltering it's a 90 plus humidity. The pool itself is like 92 degrees. Just having some fun doing some trick shots with Mana from up above on our balcony. She is so fun. Later tonight, we're going to be making a pasta bar, complete with different noodles, different sauces, different meat. Oh, guys, awesome. full pasta bar, family style, here in this house, it doesn't get much better, you guys. No, <laughs> Frog guy was just FaceTiming his friends, why'd you stop? Is it, <laughs> you didn't wanna show him you're cuddling with your grandma? <laughs> Thought as long as we were chilling here at the house all day today, it would be a perfect opportunity to give you a quick house tour of this place. We are staying in Las Olas, one of our favorite places to stay. It's actually the same area we stayed in the last time we came, and we knew when we came back we wanted to be in the same place. More specifically, we're in the Seven Isles area of Las Olas, so close to the beach, so close to all of the fun, right on the waterways. There are boats, yachts, water taxis going in and out all over the place, you guys. This is where the fun and the action is in Florida. We've got the fun Las Olas Boulevard, but the kids love to stand on the street and watch the supercars and the Bentleys, Rolls Royces, drive up and down the street. So it is a very, very fun area that we have come to absolutely love. One of the main reasons we go with it is because it is so close to where Jared and Britt are that it's a quick little drive over to hang out. In fact, this time we got enough space that they can come and stay with us. Let's come in, take you into this beautiful waterfront, Florida, Las Olas vacation villa and show you what there is inside. Come on, let's go. First thing you see when you come in is this stunning spiral staircase. Look at that, right guy. Hey, we're wearing matching tanks. Do you wanna do a, a house tour together? Let's do it. Let's show them some of the cool stuff. So, this has got windows that go all the way up. That's the one thing that I've noticed in this home, a lot of very tall, large windows for natural light, which is amazing in Florida. You have the white paint with the bright sun at all times. It really brightens up the place. When you walk in, got a piano here. Crew's been playing on that one. Off to the side, we've got a big hangout living space. This is where I imagine at nights we might chill. You got recliner, sofa, chair, fireplace if you wanted. I don't know that we're gonna be lighting any fires because it is 90 plus degrees. Gaming table here, that's actually a dartboard in there. Come off here to the side, you've got a shared bathroom and two bedrooms. Rye Guy's actually staying in this one right here. Rye Guy's got his bedroom, so we'll kind of try and count the bedrooms and beds because we have enough sleeping space for one. everyone. We have Mono Joe here. This is going to be Jared and Britt's room in here. This is where they're gonna be staying, so they got their fun space right here. Home cool. TV, that's kind of a dope setup. It's very nice, very nice. So that one's got an outdoor window that you can go outside, and then Mana's got her own like personal suite over here that's got its own bathroom, and it has an access right out to the backyard, right out to the pool. Mana can go right out here if she wants. We'll go get to that backyard in a second because that's where we're going to spend most of our time oh, yeah. here. But here's Mana's room. Got her whole place. Oh, she even made her bed today. Mana, yeah, wow. you don't have to do that. Bathroom in here, TV, all the fun Florida blue vibes. Hey, all right. And then where should we go next? I got a gym or a kitchen, you say? Let's do gym. Gym. Working up an appetite. There's no better place to do it than in the gym, you guys. And how about a gym with a view? Check out this. We've got the elliptical right there. We've got a stationary bike. You've got this system, which I am excited to try out. It's got almost everything you could possibly need in here to get a great workout. Also got a handful of these smart masks to do yoga if you're into that. Dumbbells here. Pretty rad gym. And the whole thing looks right out into the canals. You can see sailboats, catamarans, yachts sailing by. Another station here with a lot of resistance bands. Call this the Smart Fitness Center so we don't work out there. It also looks right out to the pool where you can see Rex and Hazy are still chilling after an entire full day of the pool. I don't think we're gonna be able to do a last leave the pool challenge here because I don't think anybody's getting out of that pool. Yeah. <laughs> you have sometimes people shucking coconuts right out your gym window as you're exercising. <laughs> Speaking of coconuts, we were thinking about having some fresh coconut with our dinner because the kids yeah. have been cracking open coconuts and bringing them into the kitchen. Should we go show them the kitchen? That's no, it. You're done with your workout, that is. As 
you head into the kitchen, your first stop is gonna be at the bar, right guys? Serving us up some drinks for the big game on the big screen behind him. Even if you don't drink, it's still kind of a fun setup. No, I'm good, thank you. Okay, I'll see you for later. And then there are also a lot of refrigerators. We have a refrigerator in our bedroom. Yeah. Okay, cool. coming into here, this is the main dining hall, and when I said I think we'd hang out in that other room, I actually think we're probably gonna be in here most of the time. Whether we're making something here at the island, we're chilling here at the table. We've got beautiful, stunning views out these windows, out into the pool, into the gorgeous canal out there, and then guys, these windows go all the way up. I'll show you actually what's up there at the top here in a little bit, because yeah. it's pretty cool. This is where we had our birthday dinner last night, 44 balloons. I don't know why they got that one. I'm clearly 28. That's funny. What do we have going on in here? This kitchen is a cooking. Who's heating up the kitchen? Well, That's you guys have been out playing. We have been over a hot stove. We mean Cindy. She handed me the whisk so that I could look like I was No, this is actually her recipe. True. Ooh. I'll show you what can to open. <laughs> <laughs> Pasta bar, we have Alfredo and marinara sauce with chicken and meatballs. Two different kinds of pasta. Fantastic. It's Guys, be look at this. So we have yummy. so many pots you and guys, pans going. We're cooking up in every single one of them. It's been so awesome. This we, is so cool. You know the rules. We cook. Who does the dishes? Uh, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Jerem. 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 I'm gonna get a kick out of a video. Go and watch Jared and Britt's video from today. We've been having some fun with him so all day. He is Jerem, our pool boy, who stopped by uninvited. So go and check that out on their channel, Jared and Britt on YouTube. It's pretty hilarious. So if you hear us calling him Jerem and it doesn't make sense, it's actually from their video. So that one is a fun one. So the kitchen, fully stocked, tons of stuff. Then of course, mom went and stocked it even further. Not responsible for what I bought when I was hungry. So we've got all so kinds of fun. Oh wow, that looks fuller than yesterday. Did you guys get more stuff? So we'll let you ladies keep going with this pasta. I cannot wait. Heading upstairs up the spiral staircase, which I don't know why, it just it. seems kind of fun. Everything here is like a hard, white, tiley surface, which just gives me that tropical pool vibe for some reason. But also feels a little sketch sometimes, like I'm waiting for a kid to crack their head open on it. Let's start over here with the kids' room yeah. and we'll finish with the owner's suite over there. A lot of light coming in. I told you guys that earlier, but the name of the game are tall windows with light. So there's windows all the way up the staircase, all the way up the entrance here. And you come in here to the kids' room. This is where the kids are staying. You've got two queen beds in here. So we've got Rex and Hazy right here, Kirby Do sleeping right here. It gives us enough beds in the house for Mana and Jared and Brit, so everyone has this place. I'm actually very impressed whoever slept here made their bed. Did the crew make his bed? Holy crap. Or do you think that's like random? That's crazy. Okay, anyways, they've got their own bathroom in here, which is nice, fun, blue ocean tiles, very Florida, very tropical. Coming in here into the owner's suite. We've got our bed right over here. Like we said, big giant windows. Big windows out here as well. This is the balcony that Mana was throwing the football off of earlier to us at the pool below. This is what is at the top of the dining area. It's like down there. Wait, is it? There's chairs down there. I didn't even notice that there's chairs behind there. there. We got the pool over there, which we'll show you guys the backyard next. It's actually pretty rad. Backyard is really what we got this place for. Then you've got, for some reason, this entire like hangout over here. This is where I edit at nights because there's not really like a desk, so I just chill right here. And then you've got fireplace with crystal candle things. Very cool. Views all the way through here. Pretty awesome, pretty spectacular. Then the bathroom, you come in here. It's a little bit interesting. There is no door as you come in, and then there's no door to this five shower head situation over here. There are literally this shower head right here, there's this shower, and you can have these three come out at you from the wall. So, you weren't kidding. There's a lot of options five. when you want to take wow. a shower. Big jetted tub. I right, want to turn on the water. And by sink, I mean the water comes out of the mirror, which is kind of interesting and throws you for a loop. So when you get the little walkthrough and you check in, they show you how it all works. That slides out from the side. Fun setup and then a bathroom in there. That pretty much covers the owner's suite up here. Very big, almost too big. But what was cool is our first day here, we all just sat up here to plan what we wanted to do. I was sitting over there, mom was in the bed, kids were on all the different couches and I was like, you know what? Maybe this is where we'll hang out. We've seen the main level, we've seen the kitchen, we've seen the owner's suite, upstairs, all the bedrooms, the gym. The garage is that interesting, so we skipped that. <laughs> but we haven't seen the backyard. Should we take them down to go show them why we got this place let's and where it. we're gonna be hanging out? Let's do it. Right, let's just go this way, you want to? Yeah. Let's go. All right, guys, and now we are here in the backyard. What we got this place for in the first place, let's give you a full tour. Here we are in the backyard of this gorgeous luxury oceanfront villa or vacation home, if you will. This has a beautiful pool. One of our favorite parts is the ledge there that has the water. It's a shallow water. It'll be a fun little splash area. Yeah. It has a fountain constantly pushing water over the edge. So the kids have loved jumping off of it the entire time we're here. Currently, they're doing flips into the inner tube. 
That was awesome. Hazy's doing it, Crew's doing it. You've got the pool, you've got the waterfall, you've got those cool columns. Beautiful views from anywhere you are on the house, up on the balcony there. But then, of course, you've got the canal right behind us, you guys. This is one of the Las Olas Seven Isles canals with homes that, I mean, sheesh. you got some gorgeous homes out behind you. You've got yachts. I don't know if you can see it through there. you got giant yachts, catamarans parked on the canal. Just down there, you can see some more yachts and catamarans. I mean, pretty awesome vibe as you hang out out here. I plan on doing a little 4th of July barbecue out here. Oh, yeah. Proximity to the beach is insane. It's oh. Walking distance walking. to Las Olas Beach, for Lauderdale Beach. The fire is going to be going off just over the water yeah. over there. We actually saw some last night on our first night here, which is pretty awesome. Unbelievable. But more stuff out here because there is quite a bit. This is the fun, I don't know what you would call this. Sea you or a sea. It's this giant sectional outside with some nice shade cover. This is where I think we'll be spending a lot of time. Mom was posting Insta stories here. Jared is flying the drone. Great little hangout spot. Then we've got this part of the patio right here. This is just right off of the gym and off of Mana's suite over here. And this is where Rag I was hanging out, FaceTiming his friends he opened up this giant shade over here we have so much fun area to work with we've got i don't even think it's real grass because it's too green and perfect yeah. so you got some turf over here fun little seating area here another built-in barbecue right into the canal which is awesome oh my gosh there's a little gecko right there on that chair fun little gecko right there they're kind of all over the place which is a rad vibe this is where the kids were doing their coconut thing you got a table over there fun patio this way another set of tables over here to sit and eat you got some more sun chairs right here another set of tables over here to sit out and eat if you want to a couple of chairs over here in the corner so much seating so many ample places to just hang sit talk and get to know each other is a phrase you will hear a lot here a couple more chairs over there to hang out and then another couch over there built-in barbecue where we'll be doing our fourth of july barbecue a little bar to walk up to so much fun to be had back here you guys when we booked this place one of the things that i wanted to have is enough area and enough space to entertain everyone to hang out together yeah. but a phrase that my dad used to say all the time and we used to kind of tease him about it is that he just wanted to sit and talk and get to know each other yep. it's kind of a joke because we all know each other we're family we know each other quite well yeah. and we sit and we talk a lot but it was just never enough for him. He wanted more time to sit, talk, and get to know each other. So that's what I thought of when I saw the design of this. I saw a lot of places to sit, yep. a lot of places to talk, and a lot of places to get to know each other. So that will conclude our house tour because I can smell dinner and it smells amazing. I'm ready to go in there and have some of that pasta bar. If you enjoyed the tour, hit the like button. I'm ready to go eat. You ready to go eat? Yeah, let's do let's it. Go. <laughs>Pasta is served. We have got big, giant bowls of beautiful pasta. I love the varieties here. We've got some angel hair. You guys, love angel hair. Penne, is that what that's called, that this one? We've got Alfredo sauce, tomato sauce, chicken, meatballs, garlic bread, garlic knots from last night. Sheesh! Let's eat! Finishing up this night with some delicious, warm, soft cookies and ice cream. Uh, oh my gosh. And a lot of bro love. We had an excellent <laughs> dinner and dessert today. We played in the sun all afternoon, had so much fun. It was such a great lazy Sunday just here around the house. It Hopefully you enjoyed really awesome. the tour of the places where we're gonna be for the next week. We've got some big, fun 4th of July plans coming tomorrow. Now you might have wondered where has Brittany been all day today? Jared is hanging with us while Brittany has her sister in town who, crazy enough, had a birthday one day before me. So yes, they are doing some fun stuff. Around. Dividing some family fun there and then Brittany will join us shortly when her sister goes home Kind of going back and forth and again, that's one of the nice things It is very close to their house so they can bounce back and forth very easily Today you are seeing this video. Happy Independence Day We are celebrating the 4th of July here and we cannot wait. Make sure you come back for tomorrow's video Fireworks over the ocean, baby. Oh, does it get any better than that? We will see you guys all tomorrow. Good night, everybody See ya <laughs>
Happy Independence Day, you guys. We are celebrating today in a way we've never done before. This is something brand new for our family. We've traveled before on the 4th of July, but nothing quite like this. We have never experienced the way Florida does the 4th, the way Fort Lauderdale does the 4th, and from what we can see, it goes off. The beach is packed. They have got massive water slide, bounce houses, food trucks. There's a huge stage over there for live music. I can't Tonight, wait. Tonight, there's going to be fireworks over the ocean. This is going to be something unlike anything we've ever done or experienced oh, before. Kids are so excited. Shake things up a little bit. It's just so awesome seeing all these people out here ready to celebrate. It is jam packed. So we have grabbed a spot of sand where we're going to be hanging out for the day. We lucked out with a great spot right by the food trucks, right by the bounce houses, and right by the ocean. We've sunscreened up. We've got everybody here. We're about to jump in the water, check out these slides, maybe get some food, oh, and yeah. just do it up right on the 4th. Happy 4th, everybody, from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Let's do this. This is actually like the warmest ocean water in the world. It's so warm. Sometimes when you get in like California, it gives you a little shock to the system. I may have this peed stuff. in it too, that's why Mindy! It's that color. <laughs> Look at this cute family and their matching swimming suits. <laughs> Look at down below who wore it best. Oh! We have three varieties here. Yeah, I like Mona's white glasses. Very appropriate for the day. I love it. How amazing is this backdrop here as we're playing and splashing in the waves? Look at the coastline, these gorgeous like hotels, condos, whatever they are. Littered with all these beautiful umbrellas. The umbrellas, people, bright colors. Everybody out here ready to have a fun time, celebrate freedom, America, and beautiful ocean waves. Is this a pretty fun 4th of July? Yeah! Yeah, baby! Woo! <laughs> 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 It is a scorcher here, you guys. It's 90 plus humidity, making it feel like 100 or more. But Jared and Britt have just arrived. They have brought umbrellas. They know how to do the Florida hot sun. The sand itself gets boiling hot. You gotta take sandals with you or be in the water. Another way to cool down is to splash down on one of these epic inflatable water slides. They've basically built a water park right here on the beach. So they've got inflatable water slides, slip and slides. They've got live bands that's gonna be performing. You may have heard of them, the B-52s. I thought they were talking about the airplane, but it's actually the band. They're gonna be here later tonight. The firework extravaganza, I do think we're gonna go home in between. We're gonna hit the pool, do a little barbecue poolside for our dinner, and then come back here for the fireworks. I would like to do some kind of a food truck. That would be kind of fun. Yeah. But right now, I think it's hot. Kids are looking to get cooled off. Should we go do one of those epic slides? Let's do it. Let's do it. Stand right, guys. Just got up to this ginormous slide. You ready, bro? Let's send it. Three, two, one. Walking right across the street here, they've got the entire thing shut down for the fourth, filling it with food trucks, frosted vendors. Lemonade. We got frosted lemonade. One of the things that the kids have grown to love. When did you get those first, mom? It's candy and almonds. Was it a Disney thing? I don't know. They're, They're all over enough. the place, but one time mom got them and everyone just grabbed a handful, snack on, and it has become like the treat of all treats. We are headed to go get some candied almonds. I don't think we're there yet. Some fun snacks and treats. We are doing a full blown dinner later tonight at the house. We want to keep our snacks kind of light right now, despite the fact that we want to go hard because we're hungry and there's yeah. so many options around here but I think it will be the smartest thing to do to just have a little bit of a snack here walk around see what there is man there's some good stuff though we got a smoky barbecue place over there got cotton candy and the nachos and the candy and almonds over there that's from me microbeer me and then I saw somebody with a snow cone it's like 150 I think a snow cone sounds pretty good oh, yeah. I think we should get one of those as well
Candied almonds was a strikeout. We walked up and asked him if they had any. He had the candied almonds, nuts about sugar, cotton candy, and nacho stand. And he said, all we have is hot dogs. So, I don't really know how that works out. But they did not have any of the candied almonds that we went for. And we're not in the mood for a hot dog. So, we moved on to the next best thing, CBD snow cones. Yes, you heard that right. We walked up, started ordering snow cones, and found out we were ordering CBD snow cones. So, after that, we found an ice cream cookie sandwich at Rita's filled with custard and actual Oreo cookies. So, we are cooling down, staying fresh and cool here on a hot summer day on the 4th of July in Fort Lauderdale with some delicious sweet treats, ice cold refreshment, and a little fun on the splash pad back here. Ocean just over there. I think we're going to go get back in that water. And then pretty shortly here, we're going to wrap up our time, get back home, start our barbecue, little 4th of July celebration at the house, have as much fun as we can there before we bring it back here again tonight for the fireworks spectacular, the band, the live music, all the fun that goes down. Fort Lauderdale, Florida doing it right on the 4th. Getting a fresh layer of sunscreen because the UV index is off of the charts here. It gets pretty hot in Florida right now, setting records. Reapplying some sunscreen and I think we're about to get back out in that ocean, back out in that water. Pretty shortly here, I think we're gonna head back to the house. Which will be nice to be able to swim in the pool there as well and eat because I'm hungry. I'm very hungry. I found an amazing hair piece here in Florida. What do you think? Should I stick with it? It's kind of like a middle part. <laughs> leaving the beach, headed home to our house for a fun 4th of July barbecue, grilling some burgers, eating some chips and drinking some soda because there's nothing more America than that. Taking a quick little walk, we are only 1.1 miles from that exact location on the beach and so we are very close, but it is about a 20 minute walk. We're gonna just go over the bridge here to get back home. Super close, but in this heat, after all the time at the beach, we're thinking maybe a 20 minute walk in the sun is not the best idea for the kids. We're just gonna walk to the other side of the bridge, see if we can catch an Uber because it's so busy down there by the beach. The cars just cannot get there. We ordered one up, waited 20 minutes and it hadn't moved a quarter mile. So. I'm hoping we might have better luck on the other side of this bridge, but we'll be back in that exact same spot. In fact, we left our stuff to save that same spot for tonight's action. The fireworks, live music, band, everything, Fort Lauderdale the fourth. Pretty lit, people, pretty lit. This is how close we are. So these are the aisles that make up the seven aisles. They're little strips of land with houses on either side and the inlets. Well, our island is this or aisle. That's the end cap house right there. That monster is the end of our little aisle. So that's how you know if you want to go to our house, take a left right there. We'll be just up about three houses on the right. I love when you navigate through the water to get home. change of plans we decided to forego the uber it just was taking a little bit too long to get there and so we walked the entire way which like i said only like a mile but it is 20 minutes in the hot sun when you're pretty sweaty it's 100 degrees and humid and the uv index is max okay maxed out yeah so don't mess with us we can barely breathe so humid the liquid gets in your lungs but we made it we're on our street this is our road our aisle if you will our guy's doing a little jog up there apparently it's not getting to him crew and i are barely alive but it is kind of fun to do a little walk see these beautiful homes check out the neighborhood Back home in the house. Now it is a 4th of July barbecue going down. We're having some friends and family over. We're setting out some food. Look at how festive this looks. We've got all kinds of bright red colors. We have red, white, and blue chips. We're gonna barbecue up some burgers poolside. And this is how you 4th of July in Fort Lauderdale, people. Yeah, you can. spread of food. The guests have arrived. Now it's just time to eat. Woo!
put our walking shoes back on. The walk wasn't that bad on the way from the beach to the house, but we've had our barbecue and now it is time for some seriously lit up fun here in Fort Lauderdale. We are walking right back to the beach in Las Olas, Las Olas Beach, Las Olas Boulevard, over the bridge, checking out all the boats, the yachts, people gathering to watch these epic fireworks. It's a 20 plus minute firework display. It is about to go off here for the 4th in Florida and we are just walking across the bridge right now. We've got glow sticks, matching shirts, some of us. We've got inside jokes. Tough subjects. <laughs> oh. I forgot the shirt. Cool tank, bro. I wasn't gonna put that in there, but we'll just explain. This shirt's got left at the house. It's okay, no big deal. He can wear mine. We are walking along with the rest of Southern Florida down to this spot where we left our stuff. Hopefully it's still there. We're gonna be watching the fireworks hopping off here in just a minute. Guys, we just scored the spot of a lifetime. The place where we were earlier today, still here, still available. And as you can see, everyone has gathered right here in this area. Everyone looking out that direction for the fireworks. Dead center, I think we have the prime seats for our first ever 4th of July fireworks this show in Florida. What? It doesn't get better yes. or bigger than this, you guys. <laughs> We're losing our minds at these seats right here. They I'm launched the, the fourth of July. <laughs> they launched the fireworks from that barge right there where you can see the flashing lights. We are dead center. You've got the concert going on over there. The B-52's jamming out right now. The entire beach is packed. The entire shoreline packed with people celebrating the fourth. Bro, are you ready to see the this sky get lit? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> are you joking me right now? Mindy, look at where we are. This is are you amazing. Joking me right now. This, this is insane. <laughs> this is nuts. Look at the reflection off the water down there. This is incredible. Drew, this is insane, bro. This is insane. We are losing our minds at how amazing these seats are. We are dead center. The fireworks are exploding over the ocean right in front of us. These are seats we got earlier today by random chance here at the beach. And we've had them all day. It's been incredible. We had no idea what we were getting. This is a 20 plus minute fireworks show. It just started. I don't know how they keep it going. They're launching it from a barge in the ocean, exploding right in front of our faces, you guys. What an incredible way to celebrate the 4th, dude. I don't know how you get bigger and better than this, man. <laughs> Might be one of the dopest fireworks shows I've ever seen in my life. They're launching from a barge over the ocean. The reflection off the water, the kind of fireworks, the steady pacing of huge, yeah. big bombers. And guess what? It's not even halfway done. Yeah. This fireworks show is absolutely that that so cool. Favorite.
This is kind of cool. I'm actually standing in the pool right now. We are back home from one of the most amazing fireworks spectaculars I've ever witnessed in my entire life. We decided to walk back, which I love that we were within walking distance. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> I think that was probably my favorite 4th of July from like start to finish that we've ever had. Literally from like ever. The activities we did at the pool today, the spot we got out of the pool, how much fun there was, the, the way so that the awesome. beach and the, all that area was alive. Then we came back here to the barbecue here, swam at the pool. And, and then, then accidentally, somehow randomly, front row seats to the dead most epic center, fireworks show. Right ever. as the barge is launching them, you can see the reflection off the water, and it we had the beautiful. best seat in the house. It's absolutely next level, insane. And then now the kids splashing around in the pool a little bit to finish I told off the them night. They could swim for 90 seconds. 90 seconds, then we gotta wrap this day up. I got no voice. We gotta get into bed. It's happy Fourth of July. We hope yes, you had a spectacular thank you for one being as well. Part of our family, hanging out with us on our vacation. We're so grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. Come back tomorrow. We have something fun in store every single day every that we're here. Day. And we can't wait to share it with you. See you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Hello and good morning everyone. Good morning from our pool, our dock here in Las Olas. We are chilling, taking it easy today, loving life after an incredible 4th of July. That was one for the books. Probably my favorite 4th of July we've ever had from we top to bottom. talked about it last night. It might be the best from start to finish that we've ever yes. experienced from the, the beach, show. the pool, barbecue, firework show, like everything. It was so much fun and to get to do with Mona Joe and Jared and Britt. It was just so much fun. The kids had so a blast. So we asked them, we said, hey, what do you guys want to do today? What are you most wanting to do? And they said, can we just chill at the pool? Yeah. I was like, you know what? That's why we got this place. We wanted a place to chill, hang out. That's what we're doing. Keeping the kids happy. They just want a snack, have some fun. I drinks, think their favorite enjoy. vibe is just to go into the house, grab a snack, come back out to the pool and swim. And that back and forth, back and forth is so much fun. Tonight, we'll get out there, explore a little bit more of what Florida has to offer. We're going to a brand new restaurant Ooh, tonight, the beach we house. we've heard it is beautiful. We've heard amazing things. It's on the water, it's on the beach. In fact, it's Jared and Britt's new favorite restaurant. For now, soaking up some rays, soaking up some sun, responsibly. We're all sunscreened. Yes. Probably well, gonna do it like every hour. Just, just actually ordered more sunscreen. We've been doing the instant cart thing. Just ordered like six more things of sunscreen. <laughs> Guys, because we ran out we're going quick. Through it I mean, so we've been fast. using it very regularly. And thankfully, nobody burned. I thought no. they were going to get a burn, but this morning they just woke up with golden glowing tans. It's Continuing to reapply because the UV index off the charts. The heat, here. next level. That's why we've got the pool. We've got the kids ready to go full send off of this little waterfall. And we're in matching swimmers. And we're all wearing matching swimming suits, <laughs> which, which just adds to the vibe. A little tighter each day. <laughs> <laughs> a lot tighter. <laughs> Hey guys, our Uber's here. We got Rag Guy in charge of tunes over there. He's got his chill playlist that he built at home. Thumbnail for the playlist is him floating. Where are you, Rag Guy, in that one? On the cruise ship. Okay, so it has very much poolside chill vibes. Just laying out in some crystal clear water. It's the perfect playlist to soothe that sound of construction going on down the road. They're actually building somebody out a new dock down there, which is fun to watch while we hang out here in the pool today. Jared and Britt on the way over right now. Actually, I just think Jared is because Brittany's hanging out with her sister. It's her last day here. The party is just getting underway. Believe it or not, both Crew and Brexton had never done a dive off the side of the pool until we came to this pool. And then I think Mona was teaching Hazy or something. I don't know how it happened. But right before we came here, we went to the public pool near our house. And Crew was like, I'm excited to have a backyard pool so I can practice diving without having to like belly flop in front of everybody. Sure enough, we came here for one day in and he's already doing dives off the side. Brexton's doing dives. And as simple as that may seem, if you've never done it, it's actually kind of complex to lean your head towards the water to get the angle right. It's somehow just a mental and physical challenge to get just right. One day into the trip, I came outside. They were rocking dives, diving through the tube, through that pink tube, and now I have everything to do. Just doing dives, flips, all kinds of tricks. I love these kids. I love how crazy they are, adventurous they are, how insane they are. I love that Uncle Jared gets in, throws them for flips in the pool, eggs them on to do something bigger and better every time. You guys missed yesterday's video. They were in the ocean, back flipping off of his shoulders with twists inside of the flips. We're having the time of our lives here. Crew says that I look stupid in these. Crew, what, what are you talking about, man? I think I look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, literally, can't feel my nose anymore. Here we go. Look at that, dude. Never dived in your life. All of a sudden, you're a diving professional. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
It's been an on standing, or outgoing, on standing, what do you call it? It's been going on for a while now. <laughs> Outstanding bet. Who will jump in this canal? And this morning we woke up to some nice high tide, making it very easy to jump in. Now this is very different from the dock in Turks and Caicos, when the kids would freely jump off into the crystal clear blue waters. This is more of a poo brown water back here. Can you get a family picture before you turn your swimming suits brown? I don't know what's in there. She said it was mud. I mean, people are here boating and paddle boarding, and it goes right into the intercoastal, so it's not you like know it's that there's manatees in there. dangy. There could be manatees, there could be any number of things, but the kids have been daring each other to jump in, and I think with the high tide, I don't think we've talked about this, but this dock back here actually doesn't have a ladder or any access to come yeah. back on here, so when it was down low, I was like, if you guys jumped in, I can't even get you out, like yeah. you're stuck. But today, water's just barely right there. Pretty easy jump in. I could grab your arm and pull you back up. Question is, who's gonna do it first? No, so we just did a what are the odds, and Rag Eye goes, what are the odds you have to jump in first? And I said one, and he said four. If it equals five, then the other person has to do it. So oh. he has to jump in I first. mean, those are the rules, guys. Those are the rules. So, so should I go? wait, are you going for real? Not right Rag now. You're such a boss. So I'm gonna jump with this dope yacht view behind you. That's disgusting. It really is. I don't even know what that is. It's a big old poo right there, whatever that is. Jump in at the same time. No pushing, okay? Same time. How about, since we did the what are the odds? No, 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 hear me out. Who's the bigger boss? We're How am I supposed out. to get in? Do I cannonball? Do I just jump in? Cannonball would be a really good idea. I'm just gonna jump in. Okay. Yeah, oh my gosh, you're such a savage. Oh my gosh, you did it. You did it. Right, guys. I got you. I got you. Get back here immediately. Get back here immediately. How did you know it feel? What? Is screw it good? Noise. Are you okay? Oh my gosh, there goes Screw. All he, needed, all he needed was the big bro to show him the way. That's all he needed. <laughs> Don't get caught up on this. You got it? Sorry, trying to video you angry. I hate yeah. you right now. Help me. So how was that? How was it? Look at that. Big brother showing him the way. Big brother love. Get out of there. before you get in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he survived. He survived the great jump so 2022. Hard to get out. You okay? You guys good? <laughs> One of the things that I love is we've got the outdoor refrigerator here to load up drinks in. I got given this restock on water. We just had all of our sunscreen delivered. We got fresh new sunscreen, out. staying hydrated, getting our drink on. Lined up all the kids' drinks right here, drinking lots of water. Hey Z, I got him. Can you keep them out here? Yeah, you wanna leave them out here? You're a boss of all bosses, Hazel Bingham. <laughs> yeah. So cool. Get okay, ready, set, go. All day, baby, all day. <laughs> Kids have been instrumental in blowing up these paddle boards for Jared. Even Hazy was getting in on the action, so they've got paddle boards inflated. I think they may go for a quick trip down the canals here. They actually just wanted it so they could jump in and get back out more easily. And now that they got two inflated, I think Jared's gonna take them for a little cruise down past some of these sick boats down here into the intercoastal. If they do, I'm gonna get the drone up and follow along on the adventure. We're all dressed up, ready to rock. Now it is dinner time, and we have reservations at a super fun place called The Beach House, I believe. It's supposed to be on the water. Nice yeah. long pier, some shops to shop at. Sounds awesome. Catch the sunset, hang out, wind down this perfect chill day here in Florida. Comes highly recommended from Jared and Britt, who will be meeting there at the restaurants. Reservations are coming up quickly. I think we better head out. Let's go. Oh, and by the way, nice shirt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, we got some shrimp and grits right here. That's right, I'm having this at the beach by the ocean. And then Rag Eye, some fresh coconut shrimp sushi. Is that what you're Sorry, I mean, ask your eyes, you your mouth. Looks very good. Then we got some chicken tenders, pub sandwiches. Mom got a salad, I don't know what's wrong with her. We got a couple of burgers down there. I'm ready to dig in. This Plus, place looks awesome. How would you yeah. feel if I just tasted it before you? I've already tried these fries. So salty and soft, and they're just amazing. What do you think? Those are McDonald's fries. McDonald's fries, yeah, one over every time, everything. But does McDonald's have this view right here, bro? I don't think so. so McDonald's, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
are complete. Yes, we, are. we are one. We are whole. whole. We are together. Taking a nice walk down this pier here. Taking in that ocean breeze, which feels phenomenal. Just that light wind. Although we are a little bit sweaty, we decided to wear our other 4th of July outfits tonight. The button-up shirt to go out to dinner. It's a delicious dinner. Fantastic view. In fact, you can see it. That is the place we ate right there. And you're literally on the water, overlooking all of this. So spectacular is the entire time we were there. All we're thinking is we want to get on that pier, go for a little walk, catch the sunset. Sunset and just behind those buildings over there. So I think now, the only thing left to do is go get some dessert, you guys. We've had a great walk. We've had a great talk. We've had a great time. It's been an amazing, chill day today. Nothing finishes that off better than a sweet treat. We got everybody back home and we are about to get into bed. Two PJs. Oh my gosh, sorry. sorry uh, it's been kind of fun, by the way, as they walk up. Just all the different fun outfits everyone had on today. My guy matched me. Had a lot of fun with our secondary 4th of July outfits. Yes, we absolutely loved them. In fact, if you want to know the real truth, when I bought these outfits, I bought everybody this print. And I was like, that's a lot of that print. And I was like, it's going to be cute. And then it could have been. I, I posted on Instagram and everyone was like, what are you doing? Thank you, everyone, who yes. voted on that poll. I know, I know. <laughs> we so would have been the one stuck on those I outfits. I went plain white. Great. <laughs> it was a great combination of colors and an amazing view. At dinner, good food, fun dessert, nice walk. A lot more fun to come, you guys. It was a lot of fun, but you guys, thank you for hanging out with us today. We had a great pool day. It was so fun at seeing the kids just play in the pool, jump off the ledge, and they it. never get tired of it coming in and out for snacks. Truthfully, we thought this clear back when we were designing our backyard, designing our home. A lot of the ideas and inspiration behind that was from the different vacation homes that we've stayed in. We kind of picked and choose some of our favorite parts of those, some of those favorite elements, and put them into our own home so that our own home can be like our own oasis, our own vacation home, our own place of fun yeah. and I don't know, just a place to make memories. And seeing them use some of those things today, now instead of thinking, oh, I want to have this someday, thinking, oh my gosh, that's just like this thing we're doing, that's just like this other thing we're doing, makes me feel like we're on the right track and they're going they're to have gonna a blast. They're going to love it. That's uh, what's so exciting. Also, guys, we've got some massive updates. We've been getting pictures from the house. We told you this before I we left. We're see. talking like fully drywall. They're working on the exterior. Like, it's going to blow all of our minds collectively when we finally get to go check in on that house again. But it really will. We're I think so excited. We're going to have to wait till we get back. Because I've said, I don't really want any spoilers. I want to wait till we get back. My mom is sending me pictures. Come back tomorrow. Love you all so much. We'll see you then. Good night, everybody. Bye. Like I never left home. Hello and good morning, everyone. You guys, good morning. New little bit of scenery here, new piece of paradise, little slice of heaven. We are in West Palm Beach today. We drove the most beautiful route here past the biggest, hugest homes you've ever seen. These are some of the biggest homes in all of the United States, Didn't some of the most expensive that we real estate. Drove past Trump's home? We did. We are grabbing a little spot of sand here today in West Palm Beach. We're gonna yes. be checking out some of the high society luxe life Ooh. going down Worth Street or Worth, whatever it is, Avenue Road. I don't know Let's what it is, but it's, it's worth, worth a lot. lot. <laughs> I knew you were going there. That was like some of the high end shops. Also, hopefully, some dope supercars. Some oh. of that fun high end West Palm Beach life. We're going to get out there in Living this water. That high life here. These waves. Maybe do some shopping. Or I should say window shopping because we couldn't window afford anything shopping. here. Also, I can't go in anywhere. Don't you worry. It's going to prevent you. And sunscreening like crazy. It's a scorch out right here today. The, kids all the sun out. is hot. It's toasty. We're going to go get in that water, have some fun. They got a few little rolling waves the kids love to play in. We're setting up our spot right here for the afternoon. I'm ready to get in this water. Let's do it. This is a literal tow boat. Brexton, grab my toe. That's my tow boat. Tow boat, whoa! Oh, get it! Woo! Extreme! Oh, oh yeah! Oh, 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 it's alive! Bury me in seaweed! One more and I'm there, one more and I'm there. Literally, I have drifted ashore. I, I literally, oh my god. Oh my gosh, I can't even see Woo! I just drifted ashore. Like I was floating in the ocean. This is where I ended up. What year is it?
winding down and wrapping up our time here at West Palm Beach. This has been a phenomenal and awesome afternoon. Just hanging out, getting some rays, soaking up some sun, having some great conversation. Got a chance to get out there in the water a little bit, but now we are packing up. Gonna go check out some of the higher end, finer things here in West Palm Beach. Also, every beach visit comes with your very own sand boy right here. So I got my sand boy knocking the sand off my feet. That is standard here. They expect nothing less. Personal helicopters seem to have been pretty prevalent in the area as well. Oh, you missed the spot. Thank you. Oh, right yeah. there. Thank you. I love you, dude. You don't have to do that. Truth be told, this is a hack that Jared and Britt taught me the last time I came out and I'll never go back. It's a super soft brush. And they just brush the sand off instead of trying to wash it off. Just finished up at the beach. It's so fun. Brittany has this awesome brush. I just figured this thing out. It brushes sand off so well. Gets it off instantly. I didn't take a shower this time. I just used this lifesaver. And I would almost Love prefer it. that, dude, because sometimes when yeah. you get it wet, it doesn't come off and the sand sticks longer. That knocks it right off. I mean, kind of feel bad taking credit for Jared and Britt trick, but that's like a yeah. Florida hack right there. So soft. Too. You gotta be hey, what are you guys sand doing? lovers. You, you tourists, get out of here. Oh, sorry, sorry. Jerem, go back and clean the pool. Sorry, Jerem. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> No trip to Fort Lauderdale to visit Jared and Britt would be complete without a stop at Taco, Taco Craft, Craft Taqueria. This is one of their favorite joints. So they introduced good. it to us. Now every time we come, no joke is what the go. kids ask for every time. Ever since we got here, the kids are like, when are we doing Taco Craft? When are we doing Taco Craft? The answer, we're doing it now. right now. We're doing this as kind of like an early dinner, but the other nice thing yeah. about being around this area is you've got a dessert joint right over there that we love. I don't remember how I did it, but last time I piled the high with like Lucky Charms marshmallows, sprinkles, frosting, amazing. amazing. And then just on the other side of the street, we've got a sous vide shop, shop. For souvenir shopping and then just down at the end of this there's like a pier and a nice little spot of ocean to watch the sunset so I think we're gonna probably spend the rest of today here yeah. maybe go back home swim in the pool a little bit but for now taco yep. souvenir shop dessert sunset on the beach all the above let's do it Up our dinner at Taco Craft. Easily, hands down, the greatest taco in existence. So the crispy shrimp Amazing. taco, I would say number Carne one. Asada for me. Carne asada, close second. But no joke, Jared and Britt bring us here every time. We cannot get enough of it. I can't say enough great about it. And on top of that, we don't vlog much inside there because the music is always jamming. They never it is have bad music. the dopest it's jams. It's like the best remixes oh, of the most popular, amazing. coolest songs. It is crew knows his music, and he was just bebopping oh, yeah. and scotting all over the place. The kids be say that, right? Bebopping and scotting. Yeah. Get yeah. a little do -si do grab your oh, partner yeah. round and round. Say we've probably been here two dozen times. The music always been amazing every single time. Amazing music, great music. You got some dope great cars remixes. coming by. Great remixes. We're gonna keep walking around running all these people right here. And don't hit me, car. Now we're going just across the street because there's one of the best, biggest, and dopest souvenir shops right across the street. So two for one, great dinner, followed by great souvenirs, and then one of my favorite dessert joints just over there. So it's a wow. three for one, you guys. Perfect. Maybe a sunset on the beach, four for one. Who four knows? For, it's a Anyways, four for. Taco Craft never disappoints. Thank you. We came in to buy some suvies for the kids. We were at a different suvie shop, but it was Pompano, Pompano Beach, Brit, Pompano, Pompano Beach. The kids love Fort Lauderdale, so we came to the Fort Lauderdale suvie shop. Hazy wants a lifeguard sweatshirt, and coincidentally, that's what Brandon wants. So he is finding the right size. They're gonna find the cutest suvies. Jared is buying quite the outfit. We're gonna have show and tell in a second here, but I got an all white outfit, Southern Florida. Pretty, I think this it's guy so likes awesome. it. Yeah, he likes I it. I actually like it. Like a Guayabera, like from yeah. Cuba. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> See, it's great. Oh, so this is definitely got like a more cinched in waist. It's good on you. Does it seem a little small though? No. Just like like that, right? 
Okay, I feel like we all need one of these. I love these. Crew got this in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. That was the first time, and when he would wear it ever after that, I was like, what dude, was I that? want one of those. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. <laughs> you need this. I'm sorry. Mr. Lauderdale, is that you? Dude, how do you not already own that, bro? Look at that. You guys, tell you me. You need that entire thing, dude. Don't encourage. When would you ever Nobody, not wear that? I think that? it's really cool. I, I actually you. legit love it. I have a scarf for life. Right, guys, is that scary? Oh boy, he's asking for. Where are you going, buddy? <laughs> Brexy really wants a visor. That says endless summer. I want it. Also, lifeguard. Lifeguard, lifeguard. You could match Daddy and Hazy. I like that one. It's because it matches Daddy and Hazy. Let's we'll shrink it down. Do you like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get three of those. <laughs> Okay, 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 stop, 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 stop. Yeah, Do you remember when you got one of these in Puerto Rico when we called you Mr. Puerto Rico? Uh -huh. I love that, dude, but you didn't really wear it that much when we got home, huh? Nah. You might think that Brexit Dude will be getting something tie-dye. You might be thinking, oh, tie-dye guy for sure. Isn't that where you kind of got into tie-dye in Puerto Rico? You got that tie-dye hoodie? Yeah. And yeah, ever since then, that's been your thing. I don't I remember. I like tie-dye because I like to color. And I like all the colors, but today, Brexton's going home with something a little different. He has found a love for visors, visors on this trip. He's found well, the perfect like, visor. That has been in his eyes. And then does the visor protect that a little bit? Yeah. What do you like about the visor? Just having your hair out? Or? I mean, I like it only because it's just, yeah, my hair out. Yeah, it's like a hat without the top piece. Uh-huh. Oh, hold on. There's a weird lady behind you. <laughs> okay, wait, Mom. Perfect timing. Can you show us what Brexton is taking for a souvenir? Because it is not tie-dye. It is not tie-dye. And it is not Mr. Puerto Rico. It is a lifeguard matching me and Hazy. So Hazy's got the lifeguard hoodie. I've I'll got the lifeguard it. hoodie. And Brex will be on patrol. The lifeguard visor sitting in his tower making sure that nothing happens and that we are all safe. Which purse should I get my money out of? I've just know. been in West Palm, so I've got lots of purses, so lots of money. <laughs> uh, where's my helicopter? Helicopter! <laughs> I have a helicopter! <laughs> yeah! Guys, <laughs> all of Jared's dreams just came true. The outfit he's had his eye on for how many years? Two years almost? Oh, year yeah, and a half? two years, baby. Every time he walks by this right window, now. he sees know. this one outfit. You he got it. just yeah. give it a little sneak? A little no, sneak? you don't have to put on out here because it could get dirty. This is the one he was just wearing in the video a minute ago. We had on the hat, the full white Beautiful. suit, everything. It's been hanging in that window on a mannequin ever since they moved here. Now it's coming real dude. life, now, baby. That is his. Oh. It's been like a year and a half. Here it is. This is next level, bro. <laughs> and <laughs> the full white suit completes and complements the whole thing. Can't beat it. I love it. Absolutely love it. And I think we should show everybody all the soupies I mean, we got. Yeah, we I'm got... walking down the street with a life-size mermaid. So... Oh, interesting. Okay. She said she wanted it, and I looked by, and I was like, oh, it's not that big. And then I was like, oh, it's actually the size Mindy, of me. How's that getting home? Maybe that can stay at the pool. She's gonna play at the pool with it. And Kay. by the time we go home, it'll break. Anyway. Check these guys out. Rocking necklaces out here. We got necklaces, necklaces, lifeguard visors. Yeah, do that. We got bracelets. Hey, so girl, what did you end up getting in there? Oh, me and you got the matching hoodies, oh, right? Yes. Mom, did you find anything? I did not. Wait, we went shopping, and mom left. That's all right. Well, let's go to Louis Vuitton. Oh my gosh. Oh, like oh, oh. Show. Get that sunset. Sorry, I know we're jaywalking technically, but whatever. The perfect way to finish off any day is a trip to any dessert shop. This candy dessert shop happens to be one of our favorites. The fun is just setting right through there. I That's what you see went. bouncing off my face. Kirby, dude, do you remember the last time we came here? I love this place like a chandelier. Like, look at that. Yeah, it's, it's all just colorful. bright, colorful fun. You've literally got unicorns on the wall. You can get bags of candy here, so you can just get like a little grab bag of candy, which some of these guys are doing. I like the ice cream. I think that's a lot of fun. Hazel, tell me what your memory of this candy shop is. Whenever I got candy dust here, and we were at like, we were at this like room, and my daddy was working, and I always gave him some candy dust. Hazel, you got these candy dust last time we came, and I had a little office in the house that we rented yeah. where I would edit, and she brought me these to help me stay awake to edit so that I could edit late and have delicious candy dust. And to this day, she remembers the candy dots. And yeah. I kind of forgot you got them here until we walked in and she immediately grabbed them. And she's like, these are the candy dots I gave you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. What'd you get, bro? What's your dessert tonight? Okay, so I'm like everyone else. I got a bag of candy, and in that bag of candy, I was going for a very sour thing. So I got glazed donuts. I got sour cherries, right. which are very sour. Crybaby tears, which are probably gonna make me tear up. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, 
have to go with these. Okay, what'd you go with, bro? Oh, you obviously went with the decorated chocolate sprinkles. If they have it, always get it. Every so good. Yep. Cookie Monster. They didn't have like a generic cookies and cream or whatever, so I just got oh, the Cookie Monster. Like so good. I swear, there was just massive cookies inside of it, like crumbled up and stuff, and in big splotches. So good. Frank, did you want to tell us what you got? Um, so I got uh, some pizzas. Okay, pizza. A few hundred gummy pizzas. And then I got some jelly beans. Oh, yeah. Probably a few, 3,000. <laughs> and then uh, some peach rings. Love it, dude. And of course, I had to go with the classic, underappreciated cotton candy with gummy bears covered in Lucky Charms marshmallows. Phenomenal, fantastic choice. Had it both times. But now we are loading up into the car, heading back to the house, back to the crib, back to the pad. Maybe some late night swimming. I'm down. Jared's got a projector, maybe a late night movie. I don't oh, know. We don't know what cool. we're going to do, but we're headed back to the place right now. We'll figure out something. A little night swim. We promised the kids a night swim when we got yes. back, so they are in the pool. Now, unfortunately, you guys, the lights in the pool have not been working since we got here. It's kind of frustrating because we had really hoped to use the pool at night, and one of the listing photos had really bright lights in the swimming pool. And we're like, oh my gosh, that'll be so fun. We can just swim until the late kind hours of the night. Bummer. Kind of a bummer. They've been out here twice to try and fix it. Got a part on order, and thankfully, they said the part should arrive after we leave. So, great. Thanks for nothing. We are out here monitoring that. There's a little bit of light here. It's swimmable. For not sure. quite that same scene and vibe. So, we're just out here with the kids as they swim to finish off this day. It's been a wonderful day. In West Palm, our favorite tacos, followed by souvenirs, followed by dessert, followed by a night swim. Hard to beat. Great vacation day like Pretty that. Pretty much a perfect day in paradise. We love you. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We've had so much fun here in Florida. We look forward to a couple more days we have here. We got you some great stuff on tap. Some of our most us. exciting adventures yet to come. Stuff that we've been most looking forward to and most excited about is still yet to come. Do not miss it. You guys, we love you. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Hello and good morning everyone. Good morning from atop the spiral staircase. Welcome back. We're actually getting ready to do prom pictures. <laughs> I went with the oranges today. We are and I went with merch. My finest you know. attire. It's best that I have, you guys. We are actually getting ready to start off the day in a very fun way because for the first night, everyone slept over here. So we had yes, Jared and Britt over. So Mama Joe, everyone's here. So they wanted to wake up and make us all a fun breakfast. Yes, we went and did a bunch of grocery shopping earlier in the trip. We've been doing lunches, dinners here, and we thought, why not have a fun hot breakfast? So they're open up some eggs. I smell some sausage, perhaps bagels even maybe. Yes. Fresh. Fruit. Uh, yes. Does it get better than that? <laughs> it might, because today's video is chock full of quite a few fun surprises, twists, some serious Florida epicness. So make sure you stick around. But we're gonna need to get our strength. We're gonna have to start off by eating a big full breakfast because we got a big full day ahead. It's gonna so be an awesome day, you guys. Stick around. snuck away for a minute because everyone's downstairs having breakfast, but we have a huge, massive surprise that we're trying to coordinate and reveal to Jared as soon as breakfast ends. I am tying up some loose ends here to make sure everything goes off without a hitch. We're looking for a blindfold. We're getting Mindy, Brittany, and Ryler involved, and even my mom is helping out. We can distract Jared for a minute. I'm going to get the surprise set up, clean up breakfast, and you guys are not going to want to miss this. For as long as I can remember, Jared has loved watching the supercars drive by. He's been living in Fort Lauderdale for two years now. One of the highlights is seeing all the Lamborghinis, Ferraris, McLarens. He's always wanted the Lamborghini. So I thought it might be time for Mr. Florida to step up his Florida game a little bit and add a supercar to the collection. All right, guys, you saw Jared rocking this hat yesterday. This is his Mr. Florida hat to go with his entire Mr. Florida outfit. But Jared, we felt like the outfit wasn't quite enough to make you Mr. Florida. So we have one additional surprise to go along with the hat and outfit that I think will complete your ensemble if you really want to truly be Mr. Florida. However, it's going to require you putting on this blindfold. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Just do it. Okay, do you want to help with that? That might be a terrible blindfold. You have to promise to close your eyes until we say it's time. No peeking, Mr. Florida. Come this way. I'm going to try and make you not run into like any tables or anything like that. What did you guys do? Nothing big. Nothing big, buddy. Just a little extra. Something to go with your hat. I got you. When it gets sketch, I'll let you know. But right now, you're totally good. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're going to take one subtle step down. So just kind of feel for they go one. It's a tiny little step. You got that one? Okay, here we go. Now, down two steps. One little one. One more little one. A few more feet and then another step down. A little step, little step. Don't fall, don't fall. Okay, now we're gonna take a right. Sorry, I didn't realize how far this okay. was when I blindfolded you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize we're so. Could have started a little further away. <laughs> Oh. oh man, I had one job. Come over here. All right, guys, give me some instructions. Okay, let's actually stop. Let's see. We're gonna stop right here. Okay, here, I'll take this. Okay, so now, Jared, your eyes are closed, correct? Yes. You cannot see, correct? Correct. I mean, like, yeah. if you were relying on the blindfold, you probably could. I just wanna confirm that. How many fingers am I holding up right now? <laughs> How could I tell? Okay, 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 okay. So it's confirmed, it's confirmed. Okay, so we have another surprise. We wanted to add to your Mr. Florida vibe. Can you make any guesses? No. Oh. Does that help at all? 
Okay, all right. He's, I don't know if you guys can hear that at home. But, uh, wow, hold on. Give me one second because this couldn't be better timing. <laughs> You're not open your eyes, but I'm going to jokingly say there it is. There it is. Just kidding. It's not. Hang on. So you think you have kind of a guess based on the sound. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let you take the blindfold off now. Me take it yep, off? Yep, take it off. Keep your eyes closed for a second. Okay, okay. I'll just go like this. Okay, now you can go ahead and open them. Open them? Yep, go ahead and open them. So it was just a trick. It was a little sound effect. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, I think you need a supercar to go with your super outfit. Oh so how about god. a Lambo for my bro, no. Jared? Lamborghini, my guy? Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Florida, boy. <laughs> Woo! This is yours, bro. I'm so nervous. My heart rate is 170 feet. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was perfectly placed. I could not see it. So we were trying to make him stand right where he couldn't see from the Escalade. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. I think you're Hey. Yeah, I, I love you, dude. It's just a Lambo, my guy. I love you. Bro. I know it's just a car, but this is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love you, dude. I love you. I, I'm trying not to cry, but man, so cool. The sound was amazing. As soon as he heard it, he was like, oh my gosh. And then we took the blindfold off and nothing was there. And we're like, just kidding, it's just a sound effect. You guys, Buddy, you guys are too nice. Little Lambo. <laughs> Little Lambo for my bro. Let's go, baby. Woo! Now you're Mr. Florida, dude. I love you guys. You guys are so sweet. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> this is so cool. This is just how much he loves Lamborghini, guys. We've been watching supercars going up and down the streets. We love standing on the corner hoping to see one. Now you guys are the ones driving it. This is Bro, I say we're cruising Las Olas tonight. We're hitting A1A. You are going to be in a Lambo on all these hot spots that you've seen them. You're gonna be the one in it this time, bro. Oh Lambo, let's go, baby. Woo! So good it in that mom. It fits me perfectly. You look so good. I love the giant Lamborghini right behind your head on the headers. Love you. Have fun, ladies. Oh my gosh, Mindy. Mindy's a natural, sweetie. I don't know. Maybe this is your next family car. Loads of trunk space, guys. At least one carry-on and one passenger's going in these things. They're very practical for a family. I told the kids that we'd be doing an home pool day today and we weren't lying we are gonna be chilling at the pool today but some of us are gonna be out touring the city in the Lambo if you guys are cool that I'm gonna go take Jared he's gonna take me for a spin in his new Lamborghini you guys chill here absolutely I thought Jared was our pool boy Jared went from Jerem to Lambro we're gonna go hit the town in the Lambo we'll come back anybody who wants rides we'll be taking care of you guys all day I'm gonna take him for a quick spin before we officially turn this thing over to Jared. We've got our camera gear in the frunk. We just like saying that, yep. frunk. It's the only time we've ever had a frunk. Got our Lambo, about to put the top down. Me and Rye Guy are about to hit the streets of Florida. Let's do it. Are you ready to send it, bro? Let's go.
Uncomfortable of you videoing my my car. Yeah. Hey, are you my Uber? Are you Jerem? I'm looking for a Jerem. <laughs> Did he just finish cleaning a pool? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys look pretty good in that. Hey, uh, you look pretty good in that, bro. Bad boys look that I got out of looking really cool, and then surprised I didn't hit the, on the curb. So how was it, dude? Greatest moment of my entire life. <laughs> so freaking cool. Holy was that crap. dope? Dude, thank you for letting me give Rai Guy a spin. But this is your car, so it's time for you to get behind the wheel. Ooh. I think you need to take your lady bride for a ride. You guys need to go hit the town. Right. Mr. Florida, this Lambo's yours. Now the boys have been out playing in the car and having so much fun. We have been enjoying the pool back at the house. Brittany just got back and is playing with Hazy and Brexton. You guys, they could be in the sun all day, every day. Like truly, I have to force them to come out of the pool. In fact, today I did make them come out for about an hour or two just to take a break from the heat and the sun. And I think they actually wanted it for a while. We went inside, had a little snack, had a little rest. Now they're back at it. They are playing red light, green light with Brittany. They are having so much fun. Hazy, good job. She has been swimming so awesome been doing so good. She's really mastered treading water and swimming. She's done such a good job, <laughs> huh? Yeah. So me and mom, we're gonna do what are the odds that I have to jump into the pool. I'm fully clothed. He's fully clothed. You're gonna have to jump into the pool with his clothes on. So I don't wanna do it at all, but let's do it. Three, two, one, two. Oh my gosh. Oh, no! You gotta jump in, bud. You're up. Oh, I don't want to. Oh, <laughs> Darn it! More! Oh, fully clothed, baby. Oh, darn it! Diggity dog. Woo! This is incredible. My lamb, bro. This is the coolest thing ever. We've done a few rides around town here. We've been hitting up the streets of Florida. We got cleaned up. We're gonna go out to dinner right now, but everybody wants a chance to have a spin in this bad boy. So KB12 Crew We Do is up the next. We're gonna oh, take yeah. a ride in a Lambo, bro. Are you ready? I'm so For your excited. first ever ride in a Lamborghini. I'm so excited. Let's go, dude. Oh, yeah. That's where we stayed last time we were here. It's now since been sold. Looks like they're renovating it, but that was the house we stayed in last time. It's literally just around the corner from where we are right now. We're just doing a couple of laps around these little islands right here. We gotta get back for dinner, but what do you think about it so far, crew? This is so cool. Like, when you go fast, it's like, <laughs> Yeah, like that. That sound. <laughs> We have had a ton of fun hanging out in Florida in a freaking Lamborghini today, you guys. 
Oh and God. now it's time to head out to dinner. We've got reservations at a very fun place. But we had to freshen up a little, change our clothes. Guys, do you notice a theme going on here? Do you guys see any themage going on here? Guys, if you didn't know, this is the yeah. JB, Jared, and Britt merch shop right here. I thought it was Jolene Bingham. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, well played, Mom. Well played. You guys, they surprised us with all this. I thought they were here and they came down with all their shirts on. Oh, they so cute. It. I do want you to know, we did pay full price. Absolutely. That way you uh, can still make those Lambo payments. Yeah, of course. So, you guys aren't getting I don't know if I told you. Uh, yeah, you have to pick up the payments moving forward. <laughs> gotta get to dinner. Super stoked to have some fun, delicious food, and then maybe a few more trips around the Lambo. Yeah? yeah. Okay, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Dinner is done, finished. But this bad boy's calling and I have not had a chance to take a ride with mom yet. You guys know our driving situation, norm for us. Mom drives, I video. Mom. I'm ready for this. You driving baby. the Lambo or are you taking this thing out? Oh, taking the Lambo for the ride of its life. <laughs> Let's go. Taking a little trip in the Lambo down Las Olas, baby. This is incredible. It's the perfect temperature. Wind blowing in our hair. We have seen Lambos out here before. We've watched supercars drive by on these very streets. Never did we think we'd be the ones behind the wheel. Oh, it's so <laughs> I think that's what's been the coolest of this entire experience. When we've seen these cars out here, to be on the A1A and on Los Olas Boulevard, I can't think of a cooler place to be in a supercar. You could get into a Lamborghini, many other places in the world, but I can't imagine a cooler spot than right up against the ocean, the beach at your side, the it's famous beautiful. A1A. It's absolutely beautiful. I cannot believe we're driving in this right now. Excuse me, miss. Oh, hey. Yeah. Hi. Do you have my pizza? 30 minutes or less, or it's free. At some point, we do have to go back into the house, like, we have oh, the kids in there. And... I really don't want to. One more. Okay, well, one more. One more, one more. I did two more. Sorry. <laughs> Do you think we have to get back to Jared now or? Probably. We have had way too much fun so driving fun. around this car today. It has been like an absolute dream come true in every regard. Hers, the way it speaks to me. I feel like we like bonded today. <laughs> driving a Lamborghini on the A1A, Los Olas, all these famous iconic supercar places, but to be in the passenger seat, because Mindy drives and wears the pants, we but <laughs> it was still pretty epic. But it is time now. We've got to return the car to its rightful owner, Ooh. Jared. Thank you. The Lamborghini Thank you. is yours, my Lambro. Thank you for letting us take it out for a spin. We really Slums appreciate washed, that. Full taking gas, we're good. Yeah, no, I will be on that. <laughs> Absolutely. We did get something oh. trade. Oh. Say thank oh, you. Oh, thank yeah. you. Ferrari, yeah. McLaren, but okay. It, I mean, maybe the 20, 2021 Lambo. I would, wait, no. We got key line Oh my gosh, you guys got the short end of that deal. You guys got the short end of that deal. Wait, wait, I gotta scratch off the price. Just, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I don't want you guys to feel Key lime bad. pie in Florida is it's priceless. It's a couple zeros. No price you can attach to a pie like that. For real though, you've got to go over and check out all of the fun that Jared had in his Lamborghini today on their channel. Jared and Britt on YouTube. Tons oh of insane gosh. stories and reels on Instagram. We're rocking their merch all day, baby. Also, all of the great footage that we have in our own vlog and all the great stories we have are courtesy of Jared and Britt as well. Brittany hanging out the side with the phone. Jared Hang out outside with the camera, making the magic happen. We had a so blast. Awesome. Today was such a good day. You can tell we got some stuff packed up. We have a really oh. fun day planned for tomorrow. If you thought today was a big deal, tomorrow was the day we've all been looking Ferrari. forward to the most. We're getting Ferraris. There's no more cars involved. This oh. involves water and boats, okay? There's a teaser. We're buying a boat! It has to be a yacht if we're in Florida. Sorry, go ahead. Come back tomorrow. We love you so much. We'll see you later. Good night, everybody. Bye. Hello and good morning, everyone. Welcome back. We are ready to start this awesome day. Oh! We had to start it though, of course, with Brittany's mm -hmm. homemade cinnamon rolls. She made these for the kids while we were in Cabo and then kids are so kind, they left us just two little scraps <laughs> left on the cookie sheet so we could try them and I have been craving them ever since. She decided to go home this morning, whip up fresh bats of cinnamon rolls, yeah. bring them here fresh yeah. and warm and they were delightful. I told them if you come to Florida, we're gonna make you cinnamon. I'll be back next week. <laughs> and you guys, there is no 
no shortage of treats in this house. We have been baking up a store, making a cake at eight o'clock this morning because that's what you do when you're on vacation. We bought everything to make better than anything cake. Recipe is on our blog. Cinnamon roll recipe, I believe, is on Jared and Brittany's blog. Several recipes going around, but we're going to start with a sweet treat with the cinnamon rolls and end this day with a sweet treat. We have the most fun activity planned today. We have gathered up all of the towels. We are gathered up all the sunscreen, all the snacks, all the bags, all the things. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be taking the Lambo on this ride. We are going to be taking the other car that we brought, so. The minivan. <laughs> minivan. We're going to drive a couple of hours south. We have chartered a boat to take us yonder onto the Florida Keys, possibly, hopefully, praying with everything in us that we can make it down to Alligator Reef because the water there is so crystal blue. Jared and Brittany have been there several times. They take everyone there who comes. We want to see it. So. It's amazing. It's an abandoned lighthouse out in like Atlantic Ocean, but it feels like you're in the Caribbean. It feels like Turks and Caicos on steroids. I've been there. And the waters of Turks and Caicos are amazing. From what we've seen of pictures, it looks absolutely beautiful. So we can't wait to get there. But first, we gotta load up this car. I might eat another cinnamon roll. And then we're gonna head down south. We are packing up, getting ready to head out to go do some boating, get out on the water. Before we sail the high seas, it's time to hit the pavement again with this bad boy. Jared, do you think we could take your Lambo out for another quick spin? Yeah, I think you can do it again. <laughs> Might as well. You were so kind and generous to let us have some fun with it yesterday. I just thought, can't have a day in Florida without a spin in this. I say we go out, have a little bit of fun. Yeah, baby. <laughs> back now here at the house getting ready loading up the cars to head out today putting on the finishing touches for our epic at sea adventure pretty fantastic though got to go out with Jared and my mom in the Lambo this morning literally rode it until the minute we had to take off so I was super grateful to be able to give my mom a quick rip down the a1a with the top down in that gorgeous beautiful piece of machinery can't get enough of that Lambo again shout out to Jared for letting us drive it this morning but now time to get this car loaded up and hit the road because we got a two-hour drive ahead of us for some epic boating adventures at sea We're all packed up. Time to trade the uh, scorching hot pavement for some beautiful blue seas. Woo! Have you said what we're doing yet? Yes. Okay, so guys, this is one that we've been looking forward to for a very long time. Ever since we ever came out to Florida, we've seen the videos, we've seen the Instagram I've posts. I've been having FOMO watching Jared and Brittany's stories and everyone Every time take here. Every time go out there, it's gorgeous. We don't know that for sure we're gonna be able to make it. There's some possibility of sea conditions, wind conditions, but we're making an effort. We're doing everything yeah. we can. It's our last we've full day here. We've got everything we need to make this happen. So fingers crossed, hit the like button right now to give us some good mojo, some good luck Ooh. going into this. We are hoping to get Please. out there to get to the Alligator Reef, see some of the most beautiful blue waters and the most amazing snorkeling in all the world. We've loaded up in a much larger car, little more rubber bags in there. Looks like we've got towels, food, snacks, and of course, a dark berry DP Zero. This is an epic moment in this adventure because this is something that I've always wanted to take the kids to do and I can't remember the last time I did it. I know it was with my dad and my family as we drove through the Florida Keys. You go over these massive bridges that just stretch over ocean. It is the coolest feeling in the world to be driving over a bridge that seemingly goes on forever over the ocean. We are now entering the Florida Keys right this very minute. We just passed the sign that said you are now entering the Florida Keys. The very first key we're gonna come on to as we come out and around here I think is Key Largo which I just love because it's part of the song. Key Largo, Montego. Oh, baby, why don't we go? Oh my gosh, guys, we're going over the bridge right now. Going over the first one. We're going to be stopping at Isla Morada today. Not sure I'm saying that right, but it sounds good. That's where we're going to be doing our adventures, where we're going to be getting on the boat. And the big, long stretch of freeway that goes over the ocean is just after that. So if we have time at the end of the day, it might be fun to take that drive. If not, we're just going to enjoy this scenery right now, because right now, you guys, we are going up and over the ocean. This is incredible. This is cool. Welcome to the Florida Keys, baby.
We have arrived. Dockside getting on the boat right now. Captain Mike going to take us we out. the best captain. He is the coolest, raddest guy, you guys. We are so stoked. He's already told us a rundown for today. We're going to go hit some awesome, amazing snorkeling right out of the gates. Go check out the sandbar. Then he may give us a tour of this $7 million yacht right there. Just a little guy. It's just chilling right there. Right now, though, hitting the open water. Florida Keys doesn't get much better than this. I will say, as we arrived here, I kept looking for kilometers per hour speed limits. Driving on the left side of the road, maybe signs in a foreign language. It feels like you have left the mainland United United States and you have definitely hit the Caribbean. Since I got this microphone, I've wanted to test it in conditions like this. This is when Dan and Shell were whipping out on Turks and Caicos on our sport yacht. He was talking to the microphone and I said, how on earth did it pick up the audio? This is literally just a test as we cruise across the Florida Keys to see if you can even hear me. Microphone check, baby, in the Florida Keys. Let's go. We have come to spot number one, our first stop of the day. We're gonna be getting in these beautiful waters right here doing some snorkeling. We've got a paddle board, even brought a giant water mat. We're gonna be hitting up a sandbar later so today. Fun. He's like, the kids are gonna be so tired, they're just gonna wanna lay down. He's like, you're gonna call me later and say thank you, they're sleeping wonderfully. Jared and Britt on approach right now. They're cruising in in this other boat right back there. We're gonna meet up here, do some snorkeling, have some lunch. Mana Joe was with them. Two boats coming together. One giant party out here in the Florida Keys, baby. I had to come clean on there. I had the camera resting on my lap. My knee was changing settings, so everything was very, very green. I just thought it was this beautiful green water, green lush keys. No, I in fact jacked up the settings, so I apologize for that. We are back in action, back showing you those beautiful blue skies, puffy white clouds, and a lot of fun in the sun ahead. Pulling up anchor, settling into our spots here on the boat, and we are recording. Yes, we are about to head out to the sandbar. Now, we've heard great yeah. things about the sandbar. It is shallow, crystal clear water where we can hang out. We're actually going to have lunch on the sandbar. They've loaded the food onto the paddleboard. Basically, we have like a floating buffet out there. Yeah, so, I think kids are looking cool. forward to that. Pretty hungry. But that was pretty rad. We yeah. saw a gigantic lobster, saw a big old fat, colorful fish. A lot of fish, yeah. That was a ton of fun. Got to swim a little bit, which was water nice. Mat. Playing so the water fun. mat. A lot of fun left to be had at the sandbar. Yeah.
We have arrived at the sandbar in the Florida the Keys. Sandbar. It is such a vibe here, you guys. There's just Everyone's boats just parked everywhere, literally standing on sand. I guess that is the essence of the sandbar. But they're also drinking, which I guess is the bar part of the sandbar. Cool, yeah. <laughs> we did bring sandwiches. We brought some Gatorades. We got some waters. We're ready to get crunk our way. Having a good time here. Honestly, it is such a cool rad scene here. It's just oh, crystal clear, so awesome. super shallow, beautiful water. People throwing frisbee, tossing the football. Oh, I love it. We are just about anchored down, just about set up. We're gonna get the kids in, and I think the first thing we want to do is eat off they're of our hungry. floating buffet. Breaking out the food here, we've got sandwiches, we've got chips, we've got so many different varieties, but the coolest thing of all, we have got key lime cookies that we are eating literally in the Florida Keys while standing in the ocean. I don't know what could be more Florida than this moment right here. <laughs> Did you like that? Did you like going swimming? This is such a scene, such a vibe. Just jumping out into water, transporting food, setting oh up God. our lunch table over here. This Get is he so cool. I gotta try a key yeah. lime cookie in the Florida Keys. Mini, this is happening right now. A tag team bite it. Should we? Oh my gosh, I just smelled it a little bit when I put it on my face. It smells amazing. Oh my gosh. Key lime cookie, Florida Keys. Mm. Okay. Good? So good. Oh, so guys, for the fish. Not as good as key lime pie that I traded for the Lamborghini, but no. it is still good very, very good. <laughs> party continues to go strong here. We're breaking out the treats. We got sprinkle covered marshmallow bits with frosting centers. We got nerd eggs. We've got sandwiches. We got drinks. We got paddle boards, inflatable rafts, water mats, ocean for days, food for weeks. We got tunes coming from every single boat. Everybody got something different planned. Passing out cold drinks, delicious food. Me and crew are going to start exploring. We throw the football a little bit. Crew, you want to go out and throw the football? Frisbee, oh, yeah. something like that. Just go explore. We have had so much fun. Just floating, standing, crawling, kneeling, wrestling, walking on water, hanging out here at sea. But it is time to pull up anchor, head back to shore. We do have a short two plus hour drive back to our place tonight before we pack up and head out of town. Now tomorrow morning, you guys, we haven't talked about this already. We have a 7 a.m. flight, which if you are going to be arriving two hours early with your many kids and many suitcases, that means a 5 a.m. arrival, which you do the math. You're getting up at four, leaving at 4.30, packing up tonight. So we have a bit of work ahead of us before we say goodbye to Florida officially. That begins with heading out of here right now. It's been beautiful. It's about amazing as you can imagine an afternoon being, I would say, one of the highlights. Would you guys say one of the highlights of this entire trip? They're saying yes. I don't know if you can hear it. Phenomenal way to finish. Now, we had talked about earlier about going for Alligator Reef, one of the most scenic, picturesque snorkel spots, most beautiful water you'll see. It's actually just over there. In fact, I'm not sure you can see it. There's a little lighthouse right out of that direction. It may not look like much. It's a very short trip from here, but it is so wavy out there. They say three to five foot wave. It would not be an enjoyable trip. Captains that we are working with here, they know their stuff. They say that it would be seasickness for everybody. If you weren't thrown up by the time you got there, once you did, there wouldn't be much to see because the conditions are just not ideal. Even though it seems nice and chill here, out there it would not be. So, we still have yet to experience the mythical alligator reef. But we will have to save that for yet another trip. So maybe that's our thing. Each time we come out, what we're doing is we're trying to get out to alligator reef until we finally achieve that. But this time, slipped away once again. Got that close to right there. Had a 10 minute boat ride that way. Was not meant to be. But what was meant to be was a phenomenal time here in Florida. An amazing time here in the keys and the afternoon of our lives on the sandbar. We told you that we were possibly going to buy a boat today. Well, Brandon's the captain. He Ahoy, is matey. steering us for the red marker up ahead. I don't know, B, are you gonna be able to do it? Should I tell him I'm colorblind? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Is Captain Ron at the wheel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. Brandon's taking over. He's doing a great job for anybody who cares. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they care. Thank Brandon's you. taking our family on a wild ride. <laughs> hey guys, I didn't crash this, we're good. Woo! Captain Mike's back at the helm though.
We are back ashore, we're back on land, even though we were technically Wait, on land in the ocean, I but it just feel feels like weird to be on dry land after being nautical. We have been in the sun the entire <laughs> day. Oh my gosh. Until Brandon just amazing. really, I think I'm almost sunned. Almost, you guys, after a full almost 10 days in the sun. <laughs> it feels like we went on our Disney cruise time. almost a month ago. I know. But that was part of this trip. Like all good things, this trip does need to come to an end, and so we are I going know. to drive ourselves home. Got a lot of packing to do. The kids, if they have any energy left, want to do one last swim in the pool. We'll see how that goes. Gotta get home, get packed up, and get ready to head out. We have a very early flight. Let's get home. I told the kids that I'd get them a treat at the gas station, so we're gonna stop there first. Make oh, the track. Home. I'm all about the treats. Back here at the house, at home. Kids looking for one last excuse to jump into this pool and we said, hey, gotta clear out the dive toys, goggles, and anything else that we've left in here while we've been partying it up for a week in this palatial pad. So that has been a fun pool to hang out in, you guys. Gets us very excited for our own pool. Speaking of that, do not miss tomorrow's vlog because all of us were just reminded as we were driving back home, we have an entirely new home to go home to. It has been drywalled. They've started work on the exterior. There is going to be so much new and different. It will be unlike any of us have seen before. I think the entire green exterior is gone. Certainly the framing on the inside has been covered up. It's going to have actual walls. We are for sure going there. First thing tomorrow when we get back, maybe after a nap since we have to get up and leave for the airport at 4.30 in the morning. And because of the time change as we head the other direction westwardly, we actually will get home at 10 a.m. Utah time. We have a full Saturday at home to rest, recover, and go check out progress on the house. Speaking of houses, guys, we have loved staying here at this house. This has been a ton of fun. It's been a great oasis, a home away from home, another vacation home. We've taken some fun ideas from Pattern After in our own home, getting excited for our own backyard swimming pool that the kids can jump off of and play in. Saying goodbye to this one. We clean out the last little bits of toys, prepare to do some laundry, pack, get ready to head out early in the morning. For now, we need to go inside, say goodbye to Mana Joe, Jared, and Britt. They're going to be sleeping over at Jared and Britt's house tonight. We are leaving so early in the morning. We're saying our goodbyes and our goodnights and our farewells right now. We are all packed up. My goodness, we are all very tan too. <laughs> we are so tan. We have got everything packed up. I think 95% packed up. 95% packed up. Because the alarm's coming pretty early in the morning. Not only that, we also have these guys packed up. They're leaving. Yeah. <laughs> these two live here, so they're going back to yeah. paradise as usual. Mana Jo, because she didn't want to get up at four in the morning with us, is going over to their house to spend the night. I think that's a good plan. Yeah. She'll be catching a flight shortly after us, yeah. so she'll be safe and sound at home as you well. You guys will be home, I think, when I get on the plane. Maybe yeah. yeah. we'll still be there. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> this has been the trip of a lifetime, you guys. It really oh, has been. It's been, been so it fun to been. make memories together. Yeah. We did so many fun things. Jared and Brittany are like the most amazing the hosts. ultimate hosts. Yeah. Like literally, yeah, they absolutely. define hospitality. I if you ever decided to open like an actual bed and breakfast, it would probably yeah. be number one in the nation. <laughs> yeah. That level. And I gotta say, this trip just got progressively better every day. I feel like we hit mm -hmm. the high right at the end oh, of the trip. Yeah. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. It was incredible. No one ever you're needing to crawl into bed at the end of the trip. <laughs> literally. <laughs> it was a good one. I mean, and it's been a good we one. Feel. We had the best time. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and all of them. You guys, if you haven't, go check out Jared and Britt on YouTube and guys. Instagram, TikTok. They do it all. They live here. So all these amazing videos, that's it's just awesome. the day in the life for these guys. Yeah. So check them out. <laughs> Plus, he's got a Lamborghini now. <laughs> you know what? To you guys, thank you. We love you. Seriously. This is, I love you. I mean, I had looked forward to this trip. I might cry. I really could look forward to it. <laughs> Thank hey, you. That I know awesome. we and especially the kids have been very much looking forward to a trip yes. with Mana Joe. They yeah, have been awesome. yeah. very yeah, anxiously yeah, anticipating much. this. So, yeah, thank you. It was so thank you. We love you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. You guys made this trip amazing. Thank yes. you very much. So much thanktitude going on in here. Thanktitude. <laughs> Come back because our alarms are going off in about four hours. <laughs> <laughs> we will see you all in the morning. See if we make we our flight. Home to sunny Salt Lake City. We love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 Hello and very good early morning to you all today. <laughs> I think we were standing just over there like maybe 45 minutes ago saying good night to everyone. I, I don't know. It's all kind of a blur, you guys. It is 4.29 a.m. Uh, I think mom went to bed a couple hours ago. I went to bed about an hour ago. So we are fresh off of a full 90 minutes of sleep and we are ready to rock. <laughs> we cannot wait to get home, drop the bags, go, go to right back to bed. <laughs> In order to do that, we have to get these bags loaded into our rental car. We have to get our rental car returned, get to the airport, catch oh our flight, get home. I don't want to think about the rest because then we have to go pick up the bags, take the shuttle to the car in the long-term parking, then go get in the car and then drive home and it feels like it's an eternity away, but it is not that Sorry. far away. It'll still be yet this morning that that all happens. This is all happening before 10 a.m. Utah time. You guys, holy cow, buckle up. We are going to be on our adventure home. This has been the most incredible trip. We've had really so much fun.
But just like all good things, it must come to an end. And like all great journeys, they begin with the first step. And the first step in this journey of getting home to get these to bags get loaded. Oh. oh, no. To get some sleep? No. no. To get some bread? No. no. We have to the airport. Okay, well, it's to get these sleepy, wonderful, amazing kids who are up, bright, early, teeth brushed, dressed. Love you guys so much. You're amazing. You're rock stars. Hopefully, maybe we can catch some sleep in the plane, if not later today, because we do have the full day at home. I'm nodding through this yeah. whole video. <laughs> we'll see. I'll load the bags. Let's get to the airport. Sounds good. Let's get this epic day underway. I think so. We'll go lock the house, we'll get out of here. This is actually kind of rad. I showed it actually on the flyer on the garage as we walked out. They have the streets already shut down this morning. The day we leave, just today, they are shooting something for Hoonigan. If you guys aren't familiar with that, Ken Block drives this sick car and he just like drifts through cities and they always look like they're like wide open. He's done it like in San Francisco. <laughs> I don't know, a bunch of other stuff. Anyways, we got notices on our door. Be patient as they shut down this main road for like two to three minutes or five minutes at a time. Basically, we're trying not to impede traffic too much, but he's gonna be doing whatever that stuff is that he does. <laughs> On this incredible bridge, this street right here, Los Olas Boulevard, maybe some of the A1A. So they've already started shutting that down as we pulled out this morning. They've got the street that goes into our neighborhood closed. Today's the day that they're gonna be drifting. Should What's we drift right now? now? When you guys see that come out on YouTube eventually, because that's what they always do with them, they put them out on YouTube. And you guys see that and go, hey, Binghams, we're staying on that street where that happened. We got out of here just before they started shutting stuff down. And it's really right in my face because <laughs> of the lights. <laughs> Hoodie. Got all our bags. We've made it. We're here. We're at the airport. We have got the exact amount of time that we wanted. We are yeah. right at the terminal now, Fort Lauderdale. Not the busiest of airports, and certainly not busy at 5 a.m. So I think we're. Uh, I don't even think we passed one single car in the drive here. <laughs> like the entire drive here, because it's also a Saturday morning, so everyone else probably asleep. They're getting ready to get out their super cars, go for a run on the beach. Who knows what they're doing here? But we're heading home, back to the mountains, back to the desert, also back to our beautiful home and our future home and our beds. Okay, here we go. Picked up an extra bag on the way home because we told Mana that we would take hers home for her so she could just conveniently, safely, and easily get home. We have seven bags checked. That's right, when we walked up and they said how many bags, we said seven. Everyone else in line goes, seven? Two trips, people. We went on two trips and we're helping my mom out. We are getting on the plane right now, boarding to head home. We have been here for a while, dude. Yeah, like, we got here two weeks. 10 days ago or something like that. It feels like yeah. the cruise was an entirely different trip, maybe a different month. Like, it feels like it has been so It was teasing so the kids, long. and I said, do you guys remember last month when we went on a cruise? No, you said last year. You guys remember <laughs> last year when we went on a cruise? I was like, did we go on a cruise last year? It's like, oh, I get it. You're talking about it the really Disney cruise. It really was last month, though. But, guys, finally leaving the <laughs> humidity true. of Florida, headed back to the dry desert of Utah. Which mean our great tans are going to peel off. I know, they're going to fade. It looks fantastic right now. But I was going to say this. We get teased pretty often about how early we come to the airport. I'm gonna get teased for this red nose eventually, but we get teased pretty often about that. But we get here with the perfect amount of time to get in, checked in, bagged in, through security, grab a bite to eat, sit down. As soon as we're ready to throw our garbage away because we're done, they call our boarding I know, right. so, See, and six people just take a long time to do anything. Okay, at least we have a pilot. This is my favorite setup though when we have the entire row. So it just goes yeah, all six of us. But sometimes we get split up like two up there, two back there, two in another spot. But when we get all six across, I just love it. We're just all together as a family. And I don't have to really feel bad about it. I have to go to the bathroom. I have to ask anybody to move except you guys. It is sunrise right now. So we're hoping we can take off, catch a bit of sunrise. And I think because of the way we're flying, we'll kind of stay sunrise for a while. So we're like chasing the sun. The sun rises at six in the morning in the day, huh? So in like two hours? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs>
Welcome you to Salt Lake, the local time 929. Four kids, seven bags, six humans total. We are home back in Salt Lake City. And guess what? It is 9.30 a.m. and 90 degrees already, but the kids are already noticing. Significant difference in the dry heat versus the humid heat. Does not feel that hot here. We have arrived in sunny Salt Lake City. It is 90 degrees. But guys, how is this 90? It's this is amazing. way better because it's not humid. Why doesn't like it feel dry. like I'm not even nearly as sweaty? It's not yeah. just like wet, and humid, like heavy. I do love that humidity. I do love that Florida hotness. Yeah. Uh, but it is nice when you have a pool or an ocean that you can jump in. We're going to load our seven bags into the van somehow strategically because we came here with six and they barely fit. And now we're trying to get in seven. It'll work. We we'll got... just leave you here and take the bag. back home all of us made it including all the baggage guys it feels amazing we say this every single trip I even oh, thought about it yesterday 100%. I'm like I know what I'm gonna say anybody who watches the travel vlogs knows it's coming but there is no place there really is no place like home like home yeah you're just gonna finish the line for me but it would be like it's cool like there's I no place to like home. there guys, is we no place are like so home. tired so not only is there no place like home there's no place like your own bed so we are going to probably leave those right there and then we are going to hit the hay take a quick nap catch up on some sleep since we combined got I think like uh, an hour and a half and then if you guys are up for it, I'd love to go see the progress yes. on the house today. Oh, yeah. So would yeah. you guys like to see it? Hit the like button if you would like to see yes. Ladies and Grace on the house because a lot has happened in the amount of time that we were gone. <laughs> are you Jerem? I'm looking for a Jerem. <laughs> Diggity dog. Greatest moment of my entire life. <laughs> I love you. Bro. I know this is the garbage. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs>